Good morning, good morning, good morning. I'm trying to find my uh, YouTube, my YouTube, uh, uh, live stream that I set up last night. It's nowhere to be found. Huh. Let me get this set up and I'll be right with you. Um, Brad and Jen, Junkyard, Skeeter. Well, you guys have been busy. <laughs> That's right. Look, Mom, no blocks. Huh. Yeah, you can to place a farm truck and races your rate. You have a skunk in your basement. Oh, no. Good morning, Ty. Let me uh, try to bring up the YouTube uh, channel again. Yeah, bring in a gallon of milk, would you please? There it is. Monday morning, seven people watching. Here. Yes, it does. There we go. We're making money, people. You got commercials. No. <clears throat> Anyways. Let's get this over here. Carry the one, dot the I, cross T. There we go. Ah, yeah. Huh. Well, that ain't no good there, Brad. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, Cornbread, instead of sitting on blocks now, he's got it sitting on firewood. That's right. <coughs> so. Well, better get yourself a supply of uh, tomato juice there, uh, Brad. Because you know. That'll be about the only thing that'll get the smell off your dogs. Tomato juice or lemon. Yeah. Be an old grocery getter. You're right, young kid. So, Matt, thank you for the lemon. Oh. Um, not much is going on today. Cornbread, thank you for the ice cream. Crush that up and throw it in the trash, would you please? After. You have to. Well. All right. Yeah, put Dawn on it. Yeah, Dawn works well. It works on everything but grease anymore, Skeeter. Dawn don't work on grease no more. 
for some reason that was the biggest reason why they sold it and now it don't work on it no but I've been up for a while no I got up about time on 4.30, I guess it was. I did. Uh, I was told I was lazy yesterday because I didn't get my dishes done. Well, I got them done this morning. Then I got. Uh, That's right. Huh? You got a story on that. Yeah. Um. Well, anyways, I got all my dishes done this morning. Uh, check the good morning, Matt. No. Oh. You dug a hole by the step? Okay. That's right. Make sure it can't get back in once it gets out. Hmm. By the way, Ty, you're looking lovely as ever this morning. I was on uh, Facebook yesterday, Marketplace, and uh, cause I'm always looking for something. This guy had um, train covers, you know, little train covers that go over the over your lawnmowers, your, you know, you ride lawnmowers, and he had some carts, okay, that you pull behind. And it's, they're quite old and used and abused and need a lot of repair. <clears throat> well, the guy writes 350 for all. So I messaged him up. I said, $350 for all of it? Oh, no, no, no. It's $350 for each cart and $700 for the, the plastic uh, or the covers for the, the garden tractors. And so I messaged him back. I said, well, that isn't what your ad says. Well, you know, I I actually think that when people do that, they ought to be thrown off in the marketplace. There you go. Fill that hole in mouthball there, Brad. Um, no, no, no. Um, junkyard, you got to get yourself a cat, a black cat, and then you paint a white stripe on its back. You know. Like Pepe Le Pew, he used to go nuts over that cat, remember? Pepe Le Pew. Yeah. Yeah. So go out in the neighborhood and find yourself a black cat, paint a wet stripe on it, and then send it in the hole. Okay. Mm-hmm. 
Well, that ain't no good. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, he isn't Paul. You know. So. Makes your coffee taste bad. <laughs> well, make sure you don't get that sprayed in your mouth and your your taste buds will be ruined for the rest of your life. Yeah, may, you're right, Matt. Maybe that, that skunk will fall in love with that cat like Peppy Le Pew. A wee wee majeure of Pepe Le Pew. <clears throat> Been quite busy this morning, so. Been looking online for uh, small, trying to get a better deal. Think I found one. All the other stuff, all the other companies, they want to throw in extras for this and extras for that that I don't need. So I found uh, one that I can customize, and uh, it actually uh, looks like it's going to be a good deal. So. And it's only 25 bucks a month. Oh. I'd like to talk to a person, though, because I only want insurance for the months that I'm operating. So, uh, you know, from like April to uh, December. And then after that, you know. So if I can do that, that'll even be better. I'll save a 100 bucks. You know, a hundred bucks is a hundred bucks, you know. So. I have to powder my nose. I don't have a runny nose or anything. I'm can, I'm stuffy. I can hardly breathe.
Well, welcome back. Well, thank you. Uh, so, anything going on with anybody this morning? Bueller, Bueller. Kevin Awakers, he's sleeping. Probably, you know, all nestled in his bed. Right there he is. <laughs> You're damn right it is. It might as well be a million dollars. I figured you'd be in bed still. Dreaming with uh, visions of Cub Cadets dancing in your head. After I got off in the live stream last night, somebody advertised a 1995 Jayco hard side, fiberglass sided, um, fifth wheel camper with an expando in the price range that me and her are looking for, or her and I are looking for. Um, Sleep six, pretty decent camper. I uh, messaged a guy last night. He sent me a video. Told him I'm interested. I'm waiting for to hear back from him. But it was like 10 o'clock last night when I messaged him the last time. Um, it even comes with the hitch. If if I give him full asking price, which is 1,100 bucks, which is I thought the tra trailer looked a lot worth a lot more than that. But, he only wants eleven hundred bucks. It's got to have a, a hot water heater. Is out of it. Uh, it's already been removed. It's uh, bad. So he's bought uh, on-demand hot water heater for it, and it's got to be put in. But it's there, which is good. Um, but if you give him the full asking price, he'll throw in the fifth wheel hitch. Well, that's 500 bucks, so. I told her about that piece of crap. What piece of crap? What are you talking about? It is a good deal. And I messaged another guy about one in Kalamazoo, which is a regular pull behind. So we're looking for a camper. Um, we want to get back to camping again. Take the grandkids with us. You know, we just get up and go away. That's the best part about it. So. Oh. Oh. When you picked up Thursday, I wasn't talking about that piece of crap. But then again, you know. No. <coughs> Excuse me. And what did she say? What a lovely piece of crap it is. Hmm. Now I got a powder.
All right there, Ty. Love you too. Take care. Have a good day at work. So, now that she's gone, you're going to go buy another Cub Cadet while she's gone? Huh? Or should I wait a couple more minutes before she gets out of the driveway? <laughs> I've seen a bunch of them for sale. I don't know the first thing about them, but, you no. Know. Well, look who's here. Yeah. Good morning. Good morning. Are you going out today? <laughs> we got doctor's appointments today. Got to get them all cleaned up to the doctor so I can come home and get dirty. Huh. Why not? Get that sickle bar mower put on. I got half of it done yesterday. All the parts there? Right. Yeah, except for the handle. I got to have one made. Huh. Let's take that right across the street and have them make it. All right. Then, uh, then I'll get a measurement on the belt and get that on. Well, then you can go start chopping hay. No, it's just, well, it should work. Mainly I bought it to put it on there so I get double my money out of it. All right. Good morning, Dan. Good morning, Dan. Uh, for all you naysayers, um, all right. For all you naysayers, um, that Deutsch cream we bought it at uh, thirty cents, and then we bought it at twenty. I bought it at twenty six. Um, is up to thirty. Was at thirty eight cents yesterday. So, morning, Bobby. Brad. So, so we're making money. I made eight bucks on a hundred dollar. Or uh, yeah, uh, I made eight dollars on a thirty dollar uh, fifty. I made eight dollars on a a thirty dollar buy. And I made about twelve dollars on a twenty dollar buy. How does that sound? I'm gonna be a Wall Street magnet. Did you read my one comment? About a hundred. Which one was that? About a hundred dollars. Yeah, I read it's that. Like a million. Okay. Yeah, I was a hundred dollars is equal to. A, I know it. A hundred dollars is equal to a million dollars to a cheap ass tight wad. Thrifty one to be money. That's right. Honest to God, it might as well be a million dollars. Right. I don't take no offense to that. I wish I had your money so I could burn it to melt mine. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Bobby, how are you doing this morning? The only person in this house has got money must be Kathy. She's bringing home stuff. She probably ain't got any money. <laughs> I think she's been buying and selling. Ain't for sure. You need some money to send it that way? Well, Jeff, 
I thought you got a power king, right? Is that what it is? Is that what he's got? Yeah. I found one for 850 bucks yesterday. Well, then you should have bought it. I don't want that junk. That's probably about $750 more than what it's worth. Oh. That so-called MPD you got, that last Sycamore yeah. I had would have fit that. Oh, yeah? Yeah, and I would have give you a good deal on it, like seven and a quarter. Yeah, that sounds like a hell of a good deal. Yeah. Huh. Do you deliver? Well, I did deliver it for seven and a quarter. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I bet you would have. <laughs> Yeah, that guy come from uh, um, Oil City, Pennsylvania, Saturday and picked it up. No questions asked. Had yeah. me a stack of 20s and a 5. Huh. Then he told me he's got 612 garden directors. Did you ask him if he if he uh, if he rides every one of them in one building? Huh. That's right. I'm just gonna stick with that ratty hot dog cart. That's right. You tell him, Jeff. Yeah, you tell me, Jeff. Good morning, my brother, Jeff, my garden tractor brother. <laughs> you both take pillows and blankets and go out there and sleep in the garage with it, or do you bring them in the house? <clears throat> I couldn't sleep a wink last night. I got one something outside, and it got rained on. <laughs> Damn. I know. What was me? Huh. Around here, it's like a, you know, it's like at a uh, Hispanic funeral. I got all these garden tractors on only two batteries. I got <laughs> Uh, Jeff says, bring it in every night. Yeah. Well, I would have, but I just put another one in the garage, and I I need to be able to walk around them. <laughs> Meanwhile, the car sits outside getting rained on. It's a Jeep. It's okay. Huh. Have a good night, Brad, or have a good day, Brad. Get some sleep. Don't sleep with your mouth open there, Brad, or your coffee will really taste like skunk when you wake up. He bought these new bar stools with backs on them. Man, they just, they're about the most uncomfortable damn chair there is. I even got a cushion on it, and my legs keep falling asleep. <laughs> uh. That is funny. That is funny, man. What is? 
read it in text. I just put it in the text. It comes from D-Y. <laughs> <laughs> yep, today's panel day. Yeah. yeah. Well, all of a sudden, Steve and Scott made up. You ain't seen hide nor hair in another one. Or either one of them. I think they're in a menage a trois or something. So. <laughs> well, they're both big enough to be three people, so that's uh, menage a trois twice over. Times two. Yeah, twice over. <laughs> That's funny. Oh God. <laughs> I'm just a petite little thing. Oh yeah, I know that. Well good morning, gorgeous. Thank you. I didn't think you'd notice. Not you. Talking to my lovely bride. Huh. Yeah, that other one we bought, everything's there, including the spring. Yeah. I'm glad we didn't lose what, that. What, for the valve body? What, no, for the valve body? Hooks on to the chain. On that uh, sickle bone mower. Oh, okay. I sprayed it all down with a PB blaster yet last or yesterday, and I'm gonna loosen the nuts on the bar itself, and and uh, try rolling it over by hand. Make sure you can roll. You know how you loosen the up. The, you know how you loosen up the rust on that, don't you? Go get your wife's boyfriend and tape it to the sickle bar and turn it on. Money. It'll vibrate the rust loose. I'll tell her she has that kind of boyfriend. How's that? <laughs> yeah, ask her if she has one. <laughs> I'm going to tell her you said she does. <laughs> And Keith said it's diesel turbo powered. How's that? Well, she'll probably agree. Your ass is going to be toast. Nope. Yep. You used to be on the, you used to be on the SWAT team there, Skeeter. That ain't SWAT. Oh, my bad. I got to get my glasses on. <laughs> No. Yeah, give old Big Steve a call. I sent him an invite. Well, call him. He's probably sleeping. <laughs> I, imagine, I imagine he is. It's only 4.06 in the morning there. Well, I'd call him just see if he's up. <laughs> what you doing? <laughs> yeah. If I had a phone and he, he couldn't get the number on it, I'd call him. <laughs> She'd probably tell dog not to be saying things like that. Kevin don't need to know everything. You're, you're probably right there, uh, uh, sir. You're talking about good no. now. <laughs> or <Colonel> no. Right, Cornbread said you don't need to know everything. Yeah. Uh, I'm supposed to have a dentist appointment at the same time. I got to go see the surgeon today, so I got to cancel the dentist appointment. The guy down in Fort Wayne wants to buy them fenders. That would have been yeah. perfect. I could have, I could have drove to my dentist appointment, and he could have met me there and picked them up. Right. So. Huh.
I got I got mustache hair will not leave me alone. No. Oh, sometime today I gotta run to Lowell's. I need to get a scrub, uh, a wire brush that fits on a drill. I got this big pan, all steel pan. Um, it's probably an inch and a half or two inches bigger than the other one. So. And it's made by the same company because it's got the same handle on it. Well, you know, just because you got a different pan ain't going to change uh, the taste of your cooking. Huh. It's still going to be bad. <laughs> no, it's not. My cooking's excellent. I've ate your, your stuff you call cooking. Yeah. The only you reason why you, you know, it was the truth. You didn't take me off the panel. <laughs> um, well, that's because right now I had was itching my nose because this hair. But um, I was just, I was going to try to tell you something before you rudely interrupted me. The only reason why you got Rocco was so somebody will eat your cooking because you hate to throw all that stuff away. Yeah. Yeah. I'm sorry to hear that, Jeff. Hopefully this is better. Of course, sir, Junkyard. That's the way it is. So. Huh. Well, we don't I, I haven't seen them cans yet, junkyard. We're still back in you know ancient times here. They, I think they just come out with a fold and one for the WD forty in the stores here. Well, you guys must be a high cotton because I ain't seen none of them. Well, we we just got away from the the gallon can that you had to pour into one of the little cans. Good morning, cute tiger tiger. Sorry about that. Oh. You like using the gallon cans? I got your, your cup right there for you, honey. Hey, uh, I did all the dishes this morning, and I said, hey, where's your black coffee cup at? Well, I don't know. I said, well, it's not here. It's not in the cupboard. It's, you know, it's not, you know, I I didn't want it. Where's it at? Huh? 
I didn't hear you. Are you afraid that you secretly broke it and not going to tell her or what? No, I did not secretly break it. I'm not going to tell her. Tell me. He was talking to me in my ear. Whatever. No. No. It does add up. There you go. Yeah, it does, Junkyard. It adds up. I couldn't afford the first one, let alone five of them. Or a half dozen. I got like eight eight quarts of oil sitting on a shelf, and Kevin tried to take it from me the other day. He said, I'll take that junk oil away from you. <laughs> uh, no. I uh, I bought that it's at an auction. Really it. I, well, I know, but it's, it makes everything, it makes, makes it look like I know what I'm doing. But I, I bought that in an auction. Um, I think I actually... You got 12 quarts of it or something and I give a dollar a quart you know and it's uh it's a high dollar stuff it's like six bucks a quart for it now you know? just because it's in the cardboard can doesn't mean it's six dollar oil <laughs> yeah <laughs> yeah the price of oil is ridiculous, man. You know, you, you go know, buy that a quart. Didn't happen until the Democrats took and took charge. I know. Uh, that's pretty cool, there, cute tiger, tiger. Your son got to use the lawnmower for the very first time to cut the grass. Uh, how old is he? Thirty-six. You're right, Jeff. Kidding. Yeah. He's got a can opener out there. Yep. I still got one of them oil spouts someplace. You know, Jim Carr, the old uh, DOT uh, brake fluid uh, back in for the, you know, the 60s and 70s stuff. You spray that on a vehicle mm -hmm. and didn't wipe it off, you wouldn't have no paint there in the day. It all wrinkled up oh. like a 95-year-old woman. How old is he there, cute tiger? Eighteen. <laughs> uh, Cody is fourteen. He's been mowing the lawn for a couple of years. I gave him a lawnmower the other day uh, across the street. He needed a lawnmower, so I gave him one. And they, Cody was doing something, but the handle was bad on it, and the handle finally broke, so... Mm -hmm. So you give him a junk lawnmower. Yep. Trying to hurt your grandkid. Right. Well, you know, it doesn't make you, <laughs> it doesn't kill you, it makes you stronger. Anyways, I ended up um, uh, bringing it over, and then I put a couple of, uh, you know, uh, inch and a half uh, self-tapping uh, heavy-duty screws in there on each side to hold the handle straight. He's 10 years old. That's cool. I remember the first time you mowed lawn. I think you was like 18. And you were still scared. Yeah, I know. I know. This is the first time we let you near power equipment after the circular saw incident. <laughs> yeah. That was bad. 
That was retarded. <laughs> no. Well, my pride, I didn't know the guard didn't come down. You never put it next to your knee. I didn't. It cut clear from my pocket up here all the way down my pant leg till it got to the kneecap. So. I brought it down by my side and went to put it in on the uh, table and it caught my pocket and just jerked it right on my hand, went all the way down my pant leg, right down through my kneecap. That ain't no good there, Junkyard. They don't, yeah, they don't work damn good on plastic. Them uh, pores don't work very good on them plastic bottles. The right, Skeeter. You couldn't find the holster for it. Yeah, couldn't find the holster. So you you seen it ten seconds before I seen it. That's right. That's right, cute tiger. It is important. Well, another ten minutes. I'm gonna leave. I gotta get me some breakfast and get clean. Go to doctor. Yeah. Well, Brad, if you can't sleep, climb downstairs in that basement and get that skunk out of there. You'll you'll work up a you know that'll get you all tuckered out by the time you get it done. Well, it's a good thing it's not in the United States because they'd call you racist because now you're hating food sex offenders. They think Pepe Le Pew is a sex offender. So. All right. Holy crap, Rocco just moved. He just stretched. He was sleeping. Yeah. <laughs> he was yeah. Out, so he's not going to go outside. <laughs> I got to hold it all day. Yep. He will too. <laughs> as soon as it's not raining, he'll go out there and bust a move. <laughs> um, evidently we are, but you know, um, I got all the looks and brains and everything. Kevin just got you know <laughs> dumb looks yeah. and uh, <laughs> yeah, not, not too much intelligence. Yeah. Will you tell him to quit texting you? Who? Who's ever texting you? That was a Mom, Facebook. Oh. oh, that's right. You're you're quite the person on Facebook anymore. Are you are you ever off in Facebook? Only when I'm in jail. Yeah. <laughs> that's a double yoke there. <laughs> Yeah, it's a double yoker, junkyard. When I'm in jail, I'm always well. Last three or four months, I've always been. I've been scanning for shit to buy cheap, try to make some money on it. <clears throat> I 
We got a almond auction going on, supposedly right now. Yeah. Got a bunch of Cub Cadets in it. A lot of uh, Minneapolis Molines. Are you talking? Um, you was asking me about going to that uh, tractor show. Is that Portland? Portland, Indiana. Yeah. Did you see that? Uh, did you see that um, um, video I sent you? Yeah, with the guy repowering the uh, yeah the scooter. Yeah. Yeah, Carol fixes all. That guy's funnier than hell. Evidently, he's not too far from you. I don't know where he's at. Well, did you look at the head on that one? You Good morning, brother. Talk. Good morning, brother. What's going on, Kevin? Oh, just living the dream. You? Um, I'm just here. Yeah. No sense complaining because you ain't going to do nothing about it, huh? Yep. Yeah, marketplace can be a good friend friend for what you're looking for, huh? Oh yeah. See you later, Brad. Oh, Keith Brad leaving again. Me. I said Keith was with me when I went to Celine to pick up this tractor and shit. And this this guy, boy, he really misrepresented that you know the tractor on that. And then he tried to tell me oh, I'm selling you the sickle and giving you the tractor. That's not how the the ad red, you know. <laughs> the ad, it, it, I got it for five hundred. After I drew him down, saying this tractor is a piece of junk, you know, I don't even know if the rear end's going to work in it because they, on them hydros, they got a shield on there, and underneath the shield is a flap, and when you go yeah. to push them around, you got to push the valves down so you don't blow the hydro out of them. Yeah, yeah. They all look alike, Junkyard, you're right. Beta Troll, good morning. You just got yourself a new tractor, what do you got? <clears throat> I think he told us the other day, but I can't remember. Um, I got the parts, I'll be picking them up tomorrow, the two pieces, so I can put the three-point on this. Yeah. Yeah. We got a lot of measuring figure in there. I try and I hope I didn't screw it up, but I should be able to bolt this on instead of having it welded on like it's supposed to be. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, but I'm going. I'm going to foot doctor today because I I took the bandage off yesterday and it was like holy shit! It smelled like six week old roast beef in there. Huh. Oh man. Yeah, I, I I I took the outside off and it's like, oh my god, the yucky stuff hanging on it. It's like, okay, I cleaned it off a couple of times, and then I found like the skin grafting. I pulled that off, and that looked even worse. It's like you know, you know these skin grafts ain't working. Why do you keep putting them on? Are you diabetic? Yeah. yeah. How's your sugar running? A little bit high. Not crazy, though. It's What's up around <laughs> anywhere from 150 to 185. Once in a while, it's 200. I, I wish mine was that way. <laughs> you know, part of the time, or I'd say a third of the time, mine don't even read on the damn. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Did you read the thing? Good looking honky. Iron iron gentleman. Peter North here. <laughs> yeah. Old adult film star. Always great content. Thanks, Peter. Hey. You're welcome. Thanks a lot. Yeah. I could have been an adult film star. But uh I'm too Good modest. Morning. Go there. Look what I'm buying. What are you buying? Yeah, what are you buying? Up frying pan? 
No. What the hell is that? That's a poo land riding lawnmower. Oh, I'm sorry. Please no, I'm buying I'm, apologies right now. I'm buying it for a reason. To go with the poo line push mower? Can well, you that's a, like a, a matching set. Well, maybe. Uh, the poo land that uh, that push mower, um, she's used it twice. She loves it. Um, this right here, if I can get it for what I got a bid on it for, uh, I can either sell it or, you know, she can just mow the yard with it. But Well, why is she mowing the yard? Uh, because uh, I told her to. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not thinking you're telling Kathy much of anything what to do. Yeah, I know. Yeah. I'm just waiting for him to get hit in the back of the head with something really heavy. <laughs> Stale loving time. Yeah. Look who, look, look who comes out of the woodwork with stuff. And I, I, I bid on this one, too. Um This is something to buy and sell. What was that? Are you showing it? I'll show you. Yeah, I'm going to show it, yeah. Um, right there, a little old push more. A little Briggs and Stratton. It's one of them $99 ones. I, I got the $20. Well, to the right person, I can. So, uh, you want me to stop by and drop it off on your house on the way back? <laughs> yeah, he'll give you forty-five for it. I would take forty-five for it. I'll do you one better, Jeff. I sell you a self-propelled for twenty. It one of them rich Lakers around uh, my area. Put it out to the road for free. You know what it took to get it running? <laughs> One Gas. Pull. Push the primer in and pull it once. <laughs> Imagine that, huh? Yeah. <laughs> they didn't want their neighbors seeing that they had an old used lawnmower. <laughs> That's how it works around here. I got a, I'm not kidding you, the price tag was still on it. A, a Troy built weed whacker, four cycle, so you didn't have to mix the gas and oil together. Put out by a long road, price tag still on it. It was probably just too much like work. <laughs> Oh, big money people, you'll never see them do it. It's easier to pay some schmuck to come in when ride around in a zero turn for about 10 minutes and be done and gone. Yeah. I'll be back in a minute. All right. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> Excuse me. Yeah, I'm. I, I'm looking. I'm. I've been looking for a used plow on marketplace, but I'm thinking for the price of it, I could just go to track my <laughs> friend or Northern Hydraulics and get a brand new one shipped here for a little bit more. Probably. Oh yeah, I really looked at it. It's like, well, <laughs> I gotta put it together, but at least it's all new. I don't gotta sit there and spend a week sanding all rusty off it. First of all, this morning I was congested. Now I can't stop from running. You got a free snowmobile Saturday. Well, that's pretty cool. Yeah, you ought to see him push it around. Yeah, Not if there's no snow. Huh. 
<laughs> well, Cappy. <laughs> Uh, beta, uh, Kathy is my wife. Evidently, I'm not in control. She is. That was funny, though. <laughs> well, thank you. Thank you. What? I said, I'm not in control. You're in control. <laughs> That's right. That's right, honey. Yeah, I made the I made the wheelie bar set up for for my tractor yesterday. No, anyway. Yeah. Yeah, I know a man gets for thinking that they're in charge. That's right, yeah. right. <laughs> yeah. Well, thank you, good looking hunky. No. Oh. The landscaper, he had a Honda push mower. That thing never. Oh, oh, yeah. Geez, oh. I remember when they first started putting Hondas on the snappers. They were like twice as heavy with them motors. What kind of snowmobile did you get there, Tim? Does it run? I'd probably be willing to trade a 20-inch cast iron frying pan for a snowmobile that ran. If it was delivered. What are you going to do with a 20-inch frying pan? You couldn't even pick that up. I got one. A cast iron 20-inch. Oh, you're right. It's hard to pick up. It takes two hands to pick it up. It's a heavy one. Old Mountain. Christ, last time I seen a moth like that, it had a hook in it. <laughs> hey, Christy. Morning, Christy. Come on back, beta troll, when you when your five minutes is over. <laughs> Evidently, Kathy did not like that remark. <laughs> the mail was it's in D Live. He said, There you go. Remember the mail's always when I told uh, said that the reason why you asked how come Kathy was mowing, I said because I told her to. <laughs> and he yeah, wrote you know that's a lie. <laughs> I don't tell her nothing. She doesn't listen anyways. I'd, I'd pay to see you tell her what to do and not get hit. How much would you pay? <laughs> you got you to make, make it worth her while. You know, she's got to restrain herself. <laughs> well, that sounds like it wouldn't take much. I don't. So, would you make the Sam, uh, Sammy, and Bosco for breakfast? We had bacon and eggs today. I'm good. Uh, Art huh? Tim Tim got an Arctic cat. He's scrapping it. What's wrong with it, Tim? There's no snow. It's got pulled around on the dry ground. No, no. Uh, they they're doing things now with these uh, snowmobiles instead of uh, making them into snowmobiles. You cut the front half off. You know, and you leave the back half with just the track and the engine mount. And then you hook a, a hitch on the back of it in a skid plate back here or a sled. 
and they call them snow cats or something like that, or snow trackers or whatever, and they, they don't use no skis. So it's pretty cool. We call them snow machines in Alaska. Yeah. But they don't have they don't have no skis on them, and what you, they do use them for is to uh, you know transport uh, cargo and stuff. You know, you stand in the sled right behind it. You got a got a handlebars back here, and you steer the as it's going. You just push, you know, and you can steer it. I bet it's cheaper to have the dog sled. What's that? I bet it's cheaper to just use a dog sled. Not when you got to feed them all year round. Huh? <laughs> um, Jeff said he would pay for me to tell you to do something and you not hit me. How much? I don't. I don't tell nobody you hit me. <laughs> <laughs> well, I was going to tell you to make me breakfast, and <laughs> Jeff will tell you, he'll give you a hundred bucks. <laughs> okay, Jeff, she said she's making breakfast, and she wants her hundred dollars. <laughs> no. No. Yep, there she is. Huh. Yeah, let's see if it'll start. That's a view from prison. I guess she's in Facebook jail, huh? Who? Yeah, but it can pick up snowmobiles pretty cheap right about now. Oh, yeah. You buy snowmobiles during the summer and spring and boats during the winter and fall. When do you buy cars? When do you buy what? When do you buy cars? All year round. Doesn't make a difference. You gotta get one of the new Ford Broncos. Well, thank you, cute tiger. By Thursday, yeah. I I don't remember, yeah, but no. Christie's from Canada. That's cool, huh? Yeah. You know that? No. Yeah, she's from Canada. Yeah. yeah, you buy. Gene said you buy cars when you can use somebody else's money. No. Hey, Gene, what's going on? Good morning, Gene. Christy, good morning. Kim, good morning. Yeah, how is that going on in there in Canada? Cute Tiger says she'll do something to make her husband mad for a hundred bucks. Yeah. Well, we already got ho hoes and ding dongs in the White House right now, there, Skeeter. I gotta get me a cup of coffee and make me a pot of coffee, so I'll be right back.
Hey, look, Tara's here. Good morning, Tara. Oh, Christy, you're forgetting the most important thing. Rules are made to be broken. Can't break the rules. What's the point of even having them? You're right, Jeff. Hello? Where'd Jeff go? Good morning, Rinda, Allie.
Right now I'm cooking myself breakfast. Because I got a doctor's appointment in a little bit. Got to go talk to the surgeon. I just hope I don't need surgery. I don't know. Take it easy, Christy. Where'd Jeff go? I don't know. Huh. One minute he was there, the next he was gone. I don't know. Carol, good morning. Huh. Good morning, Stray. All right, man. I have no idea what goes on the birth certificate. Allie, good morning. Kara, good morning. You didn't stay home because of the order was because of a lack of funds, that's right. Morning, Dan. Good morning, Keith. Good morning, Kevin. Good morning. Good morning, everybody. Good morning. Buck County Bear. Good morning. Grizz. Good morning. Earlier, you were talking yeah. about Dogecoin. Um, right. This Saturday, I don't watch it. I know you guys don't either, but Saturday Night Live, um, Elon Musk is going on there to host. That's part of the reason why we're getting this nice bump right now because everyone's talking right. about it. So, I mean, I don't. I haven't watched Saturday Night Live since the '90s when it was funny. Now it's just a political skit show more than anything right. else. But. Uh, Back when they had Eddie Murphy with the hot tub, that was hilarious, and uh, Chris Farley. Nowadays, it's just a bunch of BS, like watching the news. But um, yeah, so that's part of the reason why we're getting this nice bump, good healthy one. Right. Charge and run, there, cute tiger. Yeah, that's the way. If they're going to work on the house, then you don't charge them rent. But they're not going to work on it, then start charging them. Oh, he's out of town? Okay. Now, is this the house you're living at or another house?
You're right there, Junkyard. SNL, Saturday Night Live is just like all the night shows anymore. They're all political. Johnny Carson said one time, uh, you know, uh, um, entertainment shows should not be political. So. Huh. You're right. Dan, your brother's fixing your breakfast. You better hurry up and get down there and get some. Yep, fix some breakfast. Yeah. Some of these people think, you know, they, they're worth a cute tiger. Some of these people think they're worth fifty, sixty dollars an hour. So they <laughs> they don't have to do too too much to make sure they got the rent paid. Uh, reading this article yesterday that new home prices are going up right. 24,000, 20 to 24,000 alone just on lumber prices. You're right. Well, everything's 50% higher than what it was. Wish I'd have bought uh, a lumber company back in the day now. Yep. Well, you see all these people now, they're advertising all this plywood and uh, OSB they've had sitting in their garage that's 20 years old. Now they want $40 or $35 a sheet for it. Yeah. I, I don't know what he's fixing. What are you fixing for breakfast? Egg, sausage, potatoes, and toast. Damn. There you go. Uh, Grizz, he's fixing aged sausages, taters, and toast. Because my little dude is hungry. I hope you saved some for Rocco. He's sleeping. Just That's barely right. Enough to, barely enough to keep a fly alive. Yeah, all right. <laughs> Junkyard says, I'm not stealing copper anymore, just, just lumber. That's right. Yep. That's right. Kick your asses out. They're a cute tiger. If they don't want to pay rent. And, well, oh, yeah, no wonder, no wonder he has to watch his cholesterol. Well, my cholesterol is okay. Uh, lumber prices didn't go up 50%. They basically went up uh, nine fold. <laughs> Skeeter says you got to keep that physique tuned up. That's right. That's right. 
Hey, I I heard too, and I was reading about that that copper's about to jump up just like silver does because of the construction and everything. Uh, so yeah, she might still want to steal some copper. Yeah. Well, the price of material for for construction, uh, there won't be. It'll be uh, slowing down. Oh, yeah, because nobody can afford to buy it. So we'll have a surplus of it, and then they're going to have to lower the price. The only way you can build a house now, if you was locked in a month ago or so, on the price of the material. Everyone keeps talking about inflation. When's it going to happen? I think it's already here, to be honest with you. Everything's going on. She can't go. McDonald's don't even have a dollar menu anymore. No one does. So, well, they, had, they haven't had a dollar menu for like four or five years. Well, you know, you know what I'm saying, but it just everything. No matter where right. you go, I'm surprised they haven't all of a sudden, they, like Chrissy said, when they're going to start having the gas shortages that come out of nowhere, like the coin shortage that was a big fake. Right. That way they can drive the price of gas up. See, what I'm thinking is the oil companies for the last couple of years have been like, all right, we'll take the hit, let the gas oil prices go down, let people get back in the mood of, you know, doing things again. And then we'll fake a, you know, just like every other industry does, fake some kind of problem. So that way then they can jack prices up and for the next two or three years make that billion a quarter profits. Well, you know what the problem is? It's the asshole sitting behind the desk in uh, the Capitol building or the White House. Hey, uh, with, his, man. with his executive orders. <clears throat> Why would you shut down U.S. oil production? Oh, wait a minute, because your son still sits on the board of a foreign country's oil production? Hmm, maybe. Huh. And you see that big deal that just came out where Saudi Arabia is going to sell 1% of their oil company to China for $19 billion. But it also secures China with oil royalties for the next 50 years. So China's given Saudi Arabia 19 billion for 1% of their company and guaranteed oil reserves for the next 50 years. You know what they're doing. They're just getting all ramped up to take over Taiwan and tell us to go get screwed. Well, that's okay. We we don't have anybody that's le uh, you know that's a leadership in a, in uh, Washington right now anyway so nobody I wouldn't even mind seeing Pompeo be president I think he'd be a better president than anyone on the Democratic side Well that's right Skeeter if we move the oil by train and truck it's got to be a lot greener than putting in a pipeline yeah. You know. It, it, it has to be. There's just no if, ands, ways about it, you know. It takes like 2,500 rail cars, uh, oil cars, every day to move the amount of oil that they move, that that pipeline will move in one day. And that's not, that's not including the 5,000 uh, uh, semi-trucks. No. Fred G. Sanford, good morning, you jive turkey. No. Good morning, Fred. No. Anyways, um, there's there's something going on. It's all money. The people that are paying these politicians, that's what it is. Yeah, they, well, you're right. They want the Green Deal, okay? They want the Green Deal, so they want to get rid of 
all the oil products, okay, gas and oil. That's what these morons want, or some of these morons want. And uh, I think it's it's rather ridiculous. You know, I, I, I'm all for solar and uh, wind power. I am. But you ain't going to be able to, you know, uh, fulfill the requirements that our country needs with this solar and wind power. That's what we're getting is a green, a great big green donkey dong. That's right. And if you notice, as soon as they shut down the pipeline, that's when the price of gas and everything went up. So. See, it's hovering right around 250, 255. Just depends on what gas station you go to down here. 250, right. 255. It's 292 here. I, I agree there, fine, sir. The good the Green Deal is a good deal. It is. If they stop uh, um, trade from all countries. No buying solar panels or wind generators or any of that other green stuff from another country. Get it all made here in America. You want to boost the economy? Buy everything American made. Buy all your windmills, all your solar panels. All your power converters, all that stuff made in America. Don't ship a single thing into the United States. Well, I'm not hitting that, whatever the hell that is there. So. Yeah, no government funding. Did you see that moron? Happy birthday, Amtrak. Okay. Amtrak is a privately owned company, but all their stock is owned by the government. You, you know why they, the, the, the government's own all the stock? is because the government owns all the stock because we subsidize Amtrak. But yet... The CEO of Amtrak makes $652,000 a year or something like that, plus bonuses. The average hourly wage of an Amtrak employee is $111. $111. We are paying for it. But, oh, it's a great deal. No, it's not a great deal. Just like the aviation. If you cannot make your airport run and you cannot make it profitable and you need to be subsidized by the government, you don't need to be running for, you know, you don't need to be open for business. Same way with Amtrak. I'm sorry. If you can't make a, if you can't make a living out of it, then you shouldn't be open. That's right. Deep on Amtrak. Oh. Yeah, he's much smarter there, John Kennedy. Yeah, he's not related to him. John Kennedy, yeah. Um, where am I going? Michigan, the Detroit Metro Airport. Every county in Michigan, every county, has to send 10% of their tax money to Detroit Metro Airport. So 10% of all your our county's tax money goes to the Detroit Metro to help pay for the airport. That airport costs like $2 million an hour to run. $2 million an hour to run. 
So that's forty-eight million dollars a day. They have all these hubs there, all these different uh, uh, airlines coming in. I don't know. Let me look and see. I bet there's at least a thousand flights a day out of uh, um, Detroit. You don't forget they subsidized the casinos downtown too. Gave them the right. land, gave them the rights, and then helped them build the buildings, and then jacked up the taxes on everybody else that lived in Detroit. Everybody have a good day. I'll see y'all later. All right. Bye. Love you. Love you too. Love you, Kevin. Have a good day. Yeah, love you too. Bye. Um, two, two, two. Eleven hundred flights per day. That's how many flights come out of Detroit Metro every day. Eleven hundred flights. And yet, we have to subsidize that. They bought you a vapor? What to do, vaping? It is like a Ponzi scheme there, Skeeter. We pay for all this stuff. All right, now if we're paying, if the government, I don't even know what the CEO makes um, over Detroit Metro. But if the government is subsidizing any corporation, any corporation, if you're getting subsidies from any, from a government entity for your corporation, I think you better rethink your, your, uh, Salary schedule, uh, you know, uh, pay scale because the president of the United States only gets four hundred thousand dollars a year. There's no way anybody that is being subsidized by the United States government should get anywhere close to that. They should make the same amount of money as a representative or a senator $174,000. Like the NFL was subsidized by the night, uh, I don't know if they were subsidized. But they were given tax breaks, you know, by the, you know, the government. Now, I don't think they get them anymore because of, the, you know, the way they were, things were going on. But union workers are overpaid. You're right, Grizz. Now, they still get uh, tax breaks from the local communities and cities, states, when they build those uh, stadiums and the states and the cities usually help chip in. Um, no, it's... It, it's the taxpayers that chip in, and they don't even have a say about it. Only in Green Bay do they have a say, because that one's actually owned publicly by the city. I think Green Bay is the only franchise that the actual voters are the people that pay for it. Good morning, Holly. All right. She loves Donald Trump? That's right. There you go. <clears throat> I hope him and DeSantis run together in 2024. I think they'd take it. What's that? Um, Trump and DeSantis. I think they'd make a good uh, team in 2024. Probably. I know they ruined it by uh, all this other BS. It wasn't. Uh, it was the Democrats here, Grizz. I'm going to tell you. Um, the Democrats in Detroit. Okay, everything was good up to about 1960. The car companies weren't going nowhere. They were making good money. The union workers were making good money. Everybody was making good money. <clears throat> And then walks in Mayor Coleman Young, the man that ruined Detroit. Detroit has had a Democratic mayor ever since 1960-something. 
for like 65 years or 60 years plus, they've had Democratic mayors. Detroit used to be a nice town, used to be beautiful. Now it looks like a war zone. No. Oh. Shoot, Toledo used to be really nice. Back when I was in high school, that's where we used to always go, down there to the malls, to like Major Magics and all the different stuff. Now, Toledo is just, there ain't nothing there anymore. It is a good deal, four or five hundred bucks a week. We don't want Charlie. Who's Charlie Christ? There you go. That snow has to go. There you go. Yep. And you're right there, Grizz. All them union employees voting Democrat. Yeah. It is. It's it's ridiculous. I don't blame you, but make sure when you tell them you got a gun in your hand because they'll probably end up stabbing you, cute tiger, knifing you, not stabbing you, knifing you. The former governor, he switched to Democrat now, yeah. I know. You're right, they're getting what they said. We're getting, uh, we're getting the strokings. Who was a former governor? I can't remember. Um, Snyder. No, I'm over uh, Florida. Oh, Scott. I yeah, I have no idea. The ball headed guy, Rick Scott. I don't I don't know. Um he's a Democrat now though. He was a Republican. Not gonna be very pretty, probably isn't. You're right. They are. They're running over here to the Republican side and they're ruining it.
I have no idea. Scott, a uh, senator? I have no idea. Yeah, he's a state senator for Florida now. I think of us. Uh, yeah, he was the governor, now he's a senator. Huh. I don't know. Just think, if you guys are lucky enough in Michigan, you might have uh, Whitmer and Stabenoff as your... Uh, Oh Senators. boy! Lucky us. Yeah, just like the dingles, them, them bastards ain't never done nothing in their entire life being in uh, politics except for take money. When John died, I put a little thing on Facebook out to uh, here. I am uh, digging John Dingle's uh, cemetery plot, and it had a uh, uh, auger. Because the guy's so damn crooked, you have to screw him in the ground. Hi, everybody. I'm going to get off here right now because I'm not feeling all that great. I'm runny nose and stuff. I got to take some medicine. So, wanting to be a little bit longer, but no. All right. Y'all have a great day and take care. I will see you tomorrow morning. You know, the weather's out here. It's raining and stuff. I don't know what it is, but this morning I, I'm so stuffed up. Now I'm, I'm flowing like a, a faucet. So y'all have a great day and take care. And I will talk to you tomorrow. All right, Keith. Love you. Have a good day, everyone. Love you too. Take care. Y'all have a great day. God bless. Take care. Uh, prayers and peace, y'all. Stay safe, stay warm, stay dry, stay cool if you have to, but stay yourself and stay healthy. Remember the first responders, doctors, nurses, firemen, EMP, and the police, their lives all matter. And if you have to put a color in front of lives matter, you're racist because every life matters. Every life is the same. It does not matter what color your skin is, your sexual orientation. Every life has the same value. Take care, everybody.